Hello. Today we are going to start to finish this skirt. I'm sewing up a waistband right here and getting it ready to start finishing the rest of it. If you follow me on Instagram, you will recognize this skirt and now you know I never finished it. So, my bad. But we're getting there. We're going to finish it soon. Not this video, but soon. So, if you're looking for it to be done, that's probably next video. If you're looking for me to chit chat and complain about a seam ripper, this is the video for you. Unfortunately, I don't electrocute myself in this one though. So yeah, enjoy. We are going to rip apart this part. And I actually found a seam ripper for this. I can never find seam rippers for whatever reason. This is not, this seam ripper is not ripping the way I would like it to. You know what? We're gonna, now I know why I don't have seam rippers. It's cause I just throw them when I get annoyed with them. We're gonna use this dainty pair of scissors because I love this pair of scissors. All right. We're just gonna go through and cut. Well, not really. We're just gonna use the scissors as a seam ripper. I think this is also, I'm, I blame the seam ripper. I'm used to doing this cause, because I can never find a seam ripper. I'm used to using just like embroidery scissors to do seam ripping jobs. I think the hardest part for me of sewing is finishing. Doing all the little finishing things are the hardest parts because I love the beginning of the project, the, you know, cutting out the new pattern, if it's a new pattern, or organizing all the pattern pieces, if it's an old one, finding all of the pattern pieces and organizing them. And then cutting out the fabrics, um, usually I do, because I only really have made skirts, I usually do a fashion fabric and a lining, so tracing the pattern, cutting out the fabric, all that good stuff, love that. I love the sewing the, the body of the piece together, like the main bit of it all together. It's the getting the waistband on and getting the pockets finished and hemming it and all of that loveliness that I really struggle with. But I think that is because those are just, I don't know, it's the little details that I just think I'll get to it eventually which is part of the reason why I wanted to start making videos because I feel like if I have something that relies on a project getting finished, then I'll get it done. So when I did my lamp, it was because I really don't like the overhead light in my living room. Um, it wouldn't be good for filming videos. It's just not a great light. And it would just, it would make everything look kind of not great. So my only options would then be to either film during the day in front of my windows or to get that lamp working and then I've got another one and use those two. And I decided, oh, well, I should get that lamp working then. And then I actually got it done, mostly. I think I figured out what I have to fix, but that'll be a little bit later. That'll be another video, I think. We've attached, detached the pocket. Um, so yeah, I finished these all weirdly, the inside seams, because I want them to be finished for when they go. These, this skirt is probably gonna go in the washer 
because I am a modern woman and it's gonna go in the washer. I'm not gonna soak it in a tub because I don't have a wringer and I'm not going to just spot clean it because I am not careful <laughs> and it will get dirty at some point. And so I want the seams to be secure and not go anywhere. <gasps> Did I not finish this one? <gasps> I'm a liar. I thought all these seams were done. Oh my God. Ah! <gasps> I didn't finish this one. Why? Why didn't I finish this? Why am I like this? Oh my God, I thought this, let me make sure that there are not others that are not done. Like, oh my God, is this a pocket seam? Okay, okay, okay. So the pocket seams aren't, the ones, the seams that connect to where the pocket is going are not done because I didn't finish that yet. I didn't finish the pocket and so I didn't finish the seam. This one is done because here's the pocket and there is the seam. So that one is done, but for whatever reason, <laughs> I just didn't finish this seam. I finished half of it, as you can see. Like this half is beautiful and finished. And this half is just, oh, you know what? I didn't finish it because it's on the salvage. That's why I didn't finish it. It is on the salvage. So the salvage edge, here we go, I want this to be. The salvage edge is the edge of the fabric. It is the edge of like what was woven. And so it doesn't, I don't need to finish it. It's not gonna fray the way that like this is gonna fray and is already fraying. This isn't fraying. It's just like super densely woven. And then there are the extra fibers. And same thing kind of here. This almost has like a braid at the end of it to keep it from fraying when it's at Joanne Fabrics. Um, so yeah, okay, that's why that's not finished. I was so concerned as to why I would do that to myself because actually I was talking about how I, I don't like to finish seams. I, or I don't like to finish things. I enjoy finishing seams because I enjoy that hand stitching. It's little, little itty bitty projects, like the little parts of a big project, I don't enjoy as much. I just put it off because I'm like, it doesn't, it doesn't need to get done right now. I'll have time for it later. No, no, don't do that. Don't be like me. Finish the small projects and, and do them diligently because that's what makes a project good. Be, like otherwise you have things like this hold on I'm just gonna take a drink no I need to make a point here otherwise you have pockets like this that just semi show and you have seams like this that are fraying apart from being washed and I just didn't I didn't stitch it deep enough when I was finishing it and this part is blipped and more fraying down here like this pocket i don't know what i did over here it's invisible it's a great pocket you don't even know it's there unless i show you like but there are things about this skirt that i didn't do with care at all and I want to fix that in this one. Except for the left hand pocket, that's just gonna be the way it is. Because I don't feel like fixing it right now. <laughs> because I'd have to undo finishing stitches and I refuse to undo finishing stitches. I will rework an entire project to not undo finishing stitches and then have to undo the original stitch. Will not do it. Um, but I am so glad that that, I, didn't actually mess that up. Okay, so that is the removal of the pocket. I'm gonna go read and other things that I think that's all I'm gonna do for today. I'm gonna make sure that I read into Bernadette's book and come back and, and make sure that I do the pockets justice 
because I want them to be good. I want to be good at pockets because pockets are important and you need them in your garments and everything. You need them in everything. Everything. Bye. So I lied. Um, I have more time than I thought I did. And that means I am going to see about getting everything lined up in the waistband. So getting my gathers or pleats, probably pleats, I prefer pleats, into the skirt. And yeah, I didn't completely lie. Uh, I'm not putting the pocket in because I still don't know how to do that, but I am going to put this bad boy on the dress form and get her all pleated up um, so that it is ready for the waistband to go on. Um, okay. We're gonna ignore the fact that the body form is dress form, body form, however you wanna call it. We're gonna ignore that it is too short because I made it myself. This was the first thing I ever sewed, which is why it looks okay, but slightly jank. It's a little wonky. It is okay though. It's, you know, it, it's a masterpiece in and of itself. And you know what? I may go back and revisit this project and try to do it again, but better. But I'm not there yet because I still remember doing it the first time and doing it the first time was awful. It was so difficult. I like I don't I don't want to relive that again yet. You know? I just I can't do it. So I'm gonna try to get this where you know my waist would be ish. Not perfectly because the waistband does still need to go in and you know it's gonna add a little bit of height. Don't know why it took me so long to say that. Don't worry about it. Ooh, the back of my hair. Hold on. We're not talking about it. We're not engaging with the back of my hair today because I've already redone it once and it fell out and I just, I can't be asked to do it again. I just can't. Here's the problem. The real problem is with the back of my hair, I cut it a while ago, it's a little shorter. It also refuses to hold braids most of the time. And I ran with that braid in today and it was, it was not great. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do the hem yet. Haven't figured out how I'm gonna do the hem yet. Even a little bit. Because this dress form is not tall enough. Maybe I'll put it on a stool or something and that will work, hopefully. Um, otherwise we're going to have to get creative. So yeah, this is what we're working with. Maybe, let me, let me adjust your angle. This is what we're working with. Just a little bit of give on either side. Or like that. I actually, I want to make sure this covers like that. So that is, I'm trying to cover the placket. Placket is right here. Try to just make sure that that gets covered mostly so that the, the top white stripe still lines up a little bit. That's the goal. Um, is to just make sure that that lines up just a little bit. Like even the slightest bit would make me feel like I achieved something. Oh, that actually, that looks lovely. That looks nice. Oh, thank God. Thank God this looks okay. Uh, okay. All right. I think that looks okay. What do we think? Not that you can reply to me, but I think this looks nice. I, I like this. So, yeah. Fantastic. Oh, I'm so happy. Let's. 
Um, well, the waistband's done. We, I sewed that earlier. So, okay, I can't finish it. I can't finish it, but maybe I can get part of the waistband on. What time is it? Yeah, I think I can get part of the waistband on and then maybe do the pocket tomorrow. And then the other part of the weight, uh, the other part of the waistband, and maybe tomorrow I can get the hem done. I will probably have to go to the store because I'm gonna follow the same technique I did in this skirt, and I'm just going to put a band at the end because the Victorians said that I could, and I listen to them sometimes. Um, not for everything, because they were, you know, drinking out of the same water they were throwing their, their waste in. But, for some things, for clothing, those people knew what they were talking about. So the rest of this video is just me sewing the skirt to the waistband and getting everything all attached, at least on one side. I didn't get much sewing done after this. I actually got really sick and got horrible laryngitis. I only just started getting my voice back today. So if you enjoy just listening to the sewing machine and music, enjoy the rest of the video. And if not, thanks for watching this far.